Peace and blessings, beloved. Come here to be educated, empowered, enlightened, inspired, motivated, and challenged to be critical and independent thinkers. Let's get to it. Yeah, believe in yourself. Huh? Who else gonna believe in you? Who else gonna believe in you? Who else gonna believe in you? Believe in yourself. Yeah. Who else gonna believe in you? Who else gonna believe in you? Who else gonna believe in you? Believe in yourself. Health is well. Peace and blessings, beloved. I pray all is well with you and yours. Welcome to the Life Lessons You series. Derek Rose Believe in Yourself edition postscript. And so as we head into the postscript, I just wanted to cover a few things I think are of of note and and of importance. So again, people have used such words as magical, fairy tale, thrilling, captivating, etc., to describe this this night, this career night that Derek Rose had. And typically these words are used to describe something that that one knows isn't real but makes them feel good in and for a moment and so it's important just to take that in, in stride and, and put it in its proper context to see how people really feel about this young man Derek Rose and then similarly people have have called this a one night only or a fluke and, and we know that fluke means an accidental advantage, a stroke of good luck, or a chance happening. So, again, they don't take this seriously. And this is a, this is a man's, you know, livelihood. This is a man's life. This is a man who has had an immense amount of adversity in his life that he's overcome. And for it to be used, you know, in this way or characterized in this way, I think is quite unfortunate for those who are doing it because it really really reveals who they are more so than who Derrick Rose is or who they claim he is Smith this is just another storyline you know and we know that that's that's quite true because we live in a 24-hour news cycle uh, world where people quickly move on to the next headline now you know e even with my coverage of it you know, I like to, to be timely so that I can ride a certain wave for exposure, certainly, but I don't ever want to rush. I want to take my time and and be very uh, calculated and methodical in, in my presentation and execution. So, you know, living in, in that kind of world, you get you get left behind because now I'm making a, a video or creating content about a week out. And so, you know, people will say. Well, that story is not even relevant anymore. And of course, I beg to differ because we cover things that are relevant to life, period. And so just to give you a little bit of a, a, a juxtaposition on how the world sees news and information and how I see it. And no doubt understand that people will have something to say about him missing that next game, that Golden State game in Golden State. Um, he, he played a little bit and then left with ankle soreness, um, you know, whatever it was, it was his lower extremity. And, and what, what's important to understand is that one has to always do what's best for himself. And I'm talking about particularly in business. And of course, there's a there's a certain level of sacrifice that the Bible calls for and that we should all want to do anyway. But what I'm talking about is understanding your value in business and, and knowing who you are, knowing your worth, knowing your your brand, knowing how to maximize on what you bring to the table, to any organization, to any dynamic. So if you think about, um, you, you know, for those of you who've been on an airplane, you've all heard the the instructions to you know, in the event of any emergency, when the 
Oxygen Max deploys for you to use it on yourself first before you try to use it on anybody else, you know, like your children or a loved one. The idea behind that, which I think resonates here a little bit, is the fact that you have to look out for yourself first because if you don't, you certainly have no value that you can add to anybody else or any, any other organization. And so, you know, this man, Derek Rose, understands that. He knows that in order for him to continue to perform at the level that he wants to perform, because he knows his value, he's going to sit out as often as he needs to. Now, you know, people will have issue with that. People will make fun of that. They'll take jabs at that to say, oh, we knew it. One night only. You know, one night special. That 50 piece. Now he's full, whatever, whatever little jokes, little quips, little jabs they take. The key is for Derek to be resolute, to, to stand firm on what he believes and to keep it moving, man, to, to ignore that white noise. And so, again, what we're talking about here is value. And so we get into value. 20, 21st. This is the value. There are actually two definitions that I want to hone in on because both have importance and credence based on the conversation that we've been having. The first one is this, the regard that something is held to deserve the importance, worth, or usefulness of something. And so this very clearly correlates to our conversation as far as my imploring that you understand your worth, you understand your value, you understand your importance and usefulness, both in the marketplace and in any type of relationship that you're involved in. It's very critical, it's very critical that we understand exactly what our contribution is so we are not manipulated, so we're not taken advantage of, so we're not slighted. And so once you think about on your job, that means understanding if you're being looked over for a promotion, understanding if you're due for a raise, understanding if you're being given work that you think is quote unquote beneath you that is too simple for you whether or not that means you're about to be replaced by a younger more bright eyed and bushy tailed individual who probably won't make as much as you so you become expendable in that way all of these things should be considerations based on what you think your value is or what you know your value is rather so it's very important that you get a, a grasp on that. And then of course with relationships, the same thing. Don't allow yourself to be taken advantage of, misused, abused in any way. And that comes from knowing your importance, your worth, and your usefulness. And all of those things determine the regard that people hold you to. It's only when you command it because when you allow things, then anything's bound to happen. And quite frankly, if you allow it, then you deserve it. And so that's really the mindset that I would encourage us to all have, as having this mindset will be very beneficial to us in the long run and the short run for that matter. And then moving on to the second definition that I wanna focus on. A person's principles or standards of behavior, one's judgment of what's important in life. And so here, clearly you see that it's important to understand what's important to you. It's also important to have principles and have standards of behavior that you abide by, that you are disciplined toward. And what you'll find is that once you understand what's important in life, like Derrick Rose has, very clearly he understands that his body and his physical well-being and his emotional well-being and his family come before the game of basketball and it's great to see that in a young man we're talking about I believe he was 26 at the time he made those comments so you think about a young man mid-20s who already has a firm grasp on what he values in life these are kinds of things that people certain people don't come to grips with until late in their life. We're talking 40s, 50s, and beyond. They go through life, you know, scrambling and trying to figure out what their place is and leaning on the world to tell them. 
rather than searching from within they search from without and so it's really refreshing to see that in him and then to be able to use that to encourage us all no matter how young you are you could be a teenager right now establish a set of values now for me again i'm a christian i'm a follower of jesus christ and so my values are already set in stone and you know that's one of the beautiful things about being a christian about being a christ follower everything has already been set out for you the table is set you come over for dinner table set nothing you need to do but sit down and eat and so that's what i do and so again i'm not trying to push anything on anybody but what i'm trying to say is for those of you who are having issues trying to establish what you value in life what you should value in life open the book quite simply open the book it'll tell you everything you need to know about what you should value in life and what your value is spiritually and that will allow you to understand what your value is secularly or fleshly carnally i'm good i'm good hell feels well that's a wrap don't forget to like share follow subscribe and comment also check us out on ig twitter facebook pinterest tumblr and patreon all under lusu media group and as always you can get in-depth content on patreon once you subscribe also check out our lusu designs lifestyle apparel which you can now purchase online see the description for the links and last but certainly not least shout out all my sponsors for their support definitely appreciate the love on their end their info is also below in the description Alright family, until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.